Once you've installed the Filmmaker VFX Suite Macros plugins, open up DaVinci, and if you go into your toolbox and go into your effects category, scroll down and you should see all your different Filmmaker styles. And if I just scrub through any of these styles, I'm going to get a quick preview of what that film look is going to look like on my shot. Once you find something, just drag and drop the effect on top of your shot. And now if you go into your effects category, you're going to see that you have a wide array of control features. So just scrolling down here, I have film grain presets, everything from 8mm, 16mm, 35 different blending modes for those grains and a whole bunch of different film grain controls. We have some film detail loss. We can mess around with color, tint. We have our film shakes, some vignette effects, and we can just mess around with the size, the color, the softness. And scrolling down, we have a whole bunch of different color tools to color grade our shots. And then we have some glow controls. So again, you can kind of mess around with different glow radius and, and spreads. And this is nice if you're kind of going for that bleach bypass look that you might get in films like Minority Report. And then moving down, we have some chromatic abrasion. So a whole bunch of different features to kind of give you an authentic film look. Now to add to that, if you go into your Cine Punch Cine Packs, we have a couple different packs here to continue our film look design. And Film Punch is going to have a whole bunch of different film overlays from bad film, gutter film, lens damage, and our dirty grains. Then we have our Super 16, 8mm, and 35 but I'm going to go in my dirty grains. The dirty grains are going to give us some little scratches and nicks and little dust particles, some nice minor imperfections. And we can drag and drop this on top of our shot. And if I go into our inspector and I go down to composite, composite mode, with film grains, you know, you have all different blending modes, but I think with film grains, you really want to use the multiply overlay. If I play this back, we can see a little dust particles, little minor nicks and scratches. Now, in some cases where you may need to extend the element on top of your shot, I find that the quickest method in DaVinci is to simply duplicate these elements. And all we have to do is highlight the element. And if you hold down the Alt key and with your mouse just slide the clip over, you're going to create a quick duplicate. And you can do this really fast and simple and you can just expand it out as fast as you want. So this is again a quick look of all the different control features for your film VFX suite in combination with your film elements. You can design an authentic film and cinematic look inside DaVinci Resolve. Enjoy.